Okay, hello everyone and welcome back. We are going to be looking at linear systems here for a while. Okay, that's going to be our next unit. We're going to solve systems of linear equations. Now today we're going to use graphing to solve them. Okay, now this is, I'm hoping that you guys had this in eighth grade. So a lot of this should be reviewed for you. Okay. All right, guys. Again, our objective is to solve a system of linear equations by graphing it. Okay. We're just going to go two equations, two variables, x and y. You graph two lines. Okay. Guys, today's essential question, how can we use graphing to solve a system of two linear equations? Okay, here's two linear equations, the blue and the red here. If you graph those lines, it looks like this. You find out where they intersect. All right, you're going to need to know that EQ for the notes assessment as normal. Okay, just to review, again, a linear equation, it's an equation. When you graph it, you get a straight line. And there's lots of different forms of linear equations. All these equations down here in the bottom, they're all the same line. They're the same equation. We just can rearrange it in different ways. But the one that we normally use for graphing, it looks like this right here, if you remember. Y equals MX plus B, where the M is the slope. And the B is the y-intercept. And once you get it to look like that, where the y is on one side and everything else is on the other side, it's easy to graph that way. I want to point out one thing about this blue line right here. You see this says negative 0.5x, negative, two, negative one half. That's the slope. Whatever is in front of the x, that's the slope. All right, even if it's listed second, if it's the second term. Again, this has a slope of negative one half. It's coming down kind of flat like that, okay? As a system of linear equations, it's when you have two or more linear equations and they're working together. Okay, just as an example, here's two linear equations. Together, they're a system of linear equations. All right, the ordered pair, the xy pair that makes all those equations true is the solution to that system of linear equations. And sometimes we use what's called guess and check. We just kind of try different things. You can almost look at this one and say, okay, 2x plus y equals 5. Well, what if this just said 2 plus 3 is 5? Well, x would have to be 1, and y would have to be 3. We'll try it down here. If x is 1, well, this is negative 1, and y is 3, so it's 3 minus 1, that's 2. So, in this case, y is 3, and x is 1. Okay, that's one way to do it. Just try different things. Try different numbers and see if they work. But that can take a long time just to try them. All right, another way is to graph both lines and see where the two lines intersect. That's the point they have in common. That's the xy coordinate that they have in common that satisfies both equations. It makes both equations true where they intersect. That's the solution to the system, okay? Now there's three different cases. If the two lines just cross at one point, then it has one solution, and that's normally what happens. Two lines, they don't have the same slope. They cross somewhere. So there's one solution. All right, sometimes they're both the same line. There's two different equations, but they represent the same line. One line is right on top of the other. 
So they have infinite number of solutions. Remember, this first case, there's only one solution. Case number two, there's infinite solutions. Now, case number three, this happens sometimes too. We have two lines and they're parallel. They have the same slope, but they have a different y-intercept. So they never intersect their parallel lines, right? There are no solutions to that system of equations. No solutions, because they never intersect. There is no x, y that make them both true at the same time. All right, again, as an example, we have two lines here. We can graph them. This top one, the y-intercept is negative 2. All right, that's right here, negative 2. The slope, it says right here, is 1 half. So you can go up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2. Here's our line right here. All right, the equation at the bottom, the y-intercept is plus 4. So that goes through right up here, plus 4. Goes through the y-axis at plus 4. The slope is negative 5 over 2. So down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1, 2. All right, again, down 5 over 2. And draw our line. See where they intersect? They intersect at the point 2, negative 1. If we plugged in 2 for x and negative 1 for y, these would both be true. Okay? Example number two. These two lines have the same slope. Three-fourths is the slope. Positive three-fourths is the slope of both of those lines. But they have a different y-intercept. This one goes through at negative four. This one goes through at, at one. They're parallel lines, they never intersect. There is no solution to this system of equations, okay? As if the lines have the same slope and the same y-intercept, then they're the same line. It's just one on top of the other. And the system has infinite solutions. That's known as infinite solutions. These, these are the same line, okay? This one on the bottom is just taking the top one times three. It's the same line here, okay? The blue line times three gives you the orange one, or the red one, whatever that is. Okay, just to review quick again, one solution if they intersect, which most of them do. No solutions, two parallel lines. Infinite solutions. The same line, one, one, one on top of the other. Okay, right now, if y'all could please fill out today's notes assignment and complete the summary. They're in the green folder, which is the folder that you're in right now watching this video. And then prepare for the next Zoom meeting. We'll have another Zoom meeting. We'll go over the vocabulary together. We might even go over the summary and the notes assignment together as well. All right, here's the three vocabulary words or phrases. I guess you can call them phrases today. There's three of them. They're listed right here for you. Okay, guys, make sure to come back for the next Zoom meeting. If you have any questions, go ahead and email me. That's it. Thanks.